1887, the Oregon Zoo was born when local pharmacist R.B. Knight turned over his exotic animal collection to the city of Portland. Originally located in City Park, now part of Washington Park, the zoo grew into a major attraction for the city. But the city park location proved too limiting. In 1951, the city club proposed that Portland build a new zoo, and the mayor appointed a commission to study the feasibility. In 1954, voters passed a ballot measure authorizing nearly $4 million to build the zoo in its current location. After careful planning and years of construction, the Portland Zoological Gardens opened at its new location in July of 1959 with great fanfare. The zoo used open-air exhibits with moats instead of barred cages and proclaimed itself the most forward-thinking progressive zoo in the country. It soon became one of Oregon's major attractions. This is Channel 8, KGW-TV in Portland. Local television station KGW did a live one-hour special from the new zoo. Success Story is coming to you tonight from Portland's new zoological gardens on Southwest Canyon Road. Here, high above the city, our three live television cameras are prepared to move along spacious walkways to look in on many of Portland's favorite animals, but we should warn you. The program touches on many aspects of daily life in the early days of the zoo, from the state-of-the-art commissary. Here in the commissary, you can see the preparation of fruits and vegetables. These vary according to the season, but generally include carrots, potatoes, tomatoes, apples, bananas, oranges, peaches, grapes, and pears, and plenty of free greens. These are fresh trimmings from markets and grocery stores. The price of food for animals is, of course, much cheaper than food for human consumption. But the quality must be good. To veterinary care. Periodically uh, make a check on each of the animals here in the zoo? Oh, yes. We make regular checks, and then periodically we check for tuberculosis and uh, fungi, uh, internal and external parasites, and anything that might be brought in by animals from other parts of the world. Where is this work conducted? It gives an intriguing look at the history of the Oregon Zoo and we can see a variety of animals and exhibits that were considered advanced for the time. One of the zoo's unique attractions, the Portland Zoo Railway, was originally planned as a kiddie ride. However, local school children and train enthusiasts had a different idea. They raised funds and built community support for a much larger narrow gauge railway. The zoo's main train, the Zoo Liner, was built in 1958 as a replica of General Motors' streamlined aerotrain. Created to celebrate the state centennial, the Oregon Steam Locomotive is an actual working steam engine, patterned after a classic 1850s train. In 1962, another major event put the Oregon Zoo on the map when Asian elephant Packy was born. He made international news for being the first elephant born in the Western Hemisphere in over 44 years. Portlanders first learned of Packy's impending birth through an article in the Oregonian, and the city came alive with great anticipation. Frequent news bulletins and Name That Baby contests were aired by local radio stations, stuffed elephants appeared in toy departments, and school children drew pictures of what they thought the baby would look like. For the final three months, zoo veterinarian Dr. Matthew Mayberry literally lived in the elephant house, keeping a close watch on the maternity ward. On April 14th, at 5.58 a.m., Packy arrived, and the news about the 225-pound baby spread rapidly. Newspapers and radio stations around the world announced the birth, and Life magazine covered the event with an 11-page spread. Visitors flocked to see the new pachyderm, and zoo attendants soared, setting a new record. Packy's birthday continues to be a major annual celebration. The beloved elephant receives a special cake made with the help of local school children, and thousands of visitors serenade him with happy birthday. Packy helped put the Oregon Zoo on the map and has led to the world's most successful breeding program for endangered Asian elephants. In 2008, voters generously approved a bond measure to upgrade zoo facilities and enhance animal care. 
Moving into the future, the Oregon Zoo will continue to educate and delight visitors and inspire the community to create a better future for wildlife.